All right, Mr. Bush here again. Uh, basically, we're going to finish up Newton's uh, second law, the wall of force and acceleration, and then move on to the third law. Once again, uh, it basically states that force is equal to mass times acceleration. So if you have a lot of mass or a very high acceleration, you're going to have a lot of force. And given the same amount of force, the, you know, higher your mass is, the less acceleration you'll have. Or, the smaller your mass is, the more acceleration you'll have. Alright, let's go ahead and look at one last example and move on. Now, with these two carts here, you have one with a very small mass, given the same amount of force, it will have a very high acceleration. And then the bottom one here has a very heavy mass, so given the same amount of force, it'll have a very small acceleration. Basically, you can see with the formula here, if your mass goes up to make the force the same, your acceleration will have to go down. And if your mass goes down, given the same amount of force, your acceleration has to go up. All right, let's go ahead and move into the third law, which is called the law of action-reaction. Right. The law of action-reaction basically states that for every force, there's an equal and opposite force. So, a great example of that is a rocket. Basically, the rocket's engines put a very heavy force down. However the rocket goes up. Basically, the way this works is the rocket's engines put force down on the air and, according to this law, there's always going to be an equal and opposite force, which means the air puts the exact same amount of force back up on the rocket, which is why the rocket goes up. This also happens whenever you jump. If you think about it, if you go to jump, your feet put force down on the ground. However, you go up. Basically, however much force you put into the ground is put back up on you, which causes you to go up. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and pull up one more example, and we'll wrap this video up. Alright, so in this example we have a cannon here. Now, when the uh, basically the explosion goes off in the cannon to push the cannonball out, that's going to be our action. So we have force pushing in that direction. But because of Newton's law of reaction, action, reaction, we know there's going to be an equal and opposite force pushing in the other direction. That's why the cannon goes backwards. Basically, a force pushes the cannonball out, going that one direction. A opposite force pushes on the cannon, making the cannon go backwards. Alright. Oh, just one more thing. Uh, throwing back to Newton's law of uh, force and acceleration, why does the cannonball accelerate much faster, I could probably about a 10 pound cannonball accelerate much faster than the 2,000 pound cannon given the same amount of force? Alright, this concludes uh, the video notes. Once again, thank you very much for bearing with me. Uh, hopefully, they'll be a little bit smoother in the future. Y'all have a great day.